Did you know that just about every murder has thousands of tiny witnesses that are incapable of telling a lie? It's these little guys. Insects like blowflies are attracted to open wounds and the odor of decay, and their presence on corpses can provide many forensic details about a body's time and cause of death. These facts prove very useful when investigating a homicide. But how do crime scene investigators extract information out of insects since cross-examining them is out of the question. After a fly lays its eggs on a body, these eggs hatch into maggots that crawl into openings and bodily orifices. By the pupa stage, maggots increase their body size by 300 to 400 times because they've been eating constantly. The maggots eventually grow to be flies who lay eggs on the body again. This repeats over and over until the body is fully decomposed. Gross, yes, but this generational feeding process is exactly what provides useful information in murder cases. It's even got its own name, forensic entomology, which is the scientific study of insects on cadavers. And it's been around since the 10th century, so it's pretty reliable. Insects can even indicate whether or not a body has been moved from the location of its death since different species inhabit different regions. And if a corpse is physically unrecognizable, maggots can hold valuable DNA information to help identify it because they actually ingest the body. Maggots found on the corpse are blended by the cupful and DNA can then be extracted. And virtually no decomposing body is immune to the invasion of insects, which just goes to show that sometimes a fly witness is better than an eyewitness.